What is going on, ladies and gents? It's Toddy B here, Ripping Lips. Uh, we are getting ready to go out. Um, drizzling a little bit right now, so hopefully the rain kind of either stops or if it stays like this, I'm okay. I got my frog togs suit decked out. Got my jacket there. Uh, as you can see, the boat is going out. Going to be heading up, um, trying to get out. You know, they wanted to get a little breezier, um, getting closer to lunchtime. So I want to get out early, get off the lake early, see what we can do. Uh, it's about 5:30. I'm going to get this bad boy hooked up here, and. Let's get to it, boys. Let's see what happens. If you guys are watching this video, if this makes it to YouTube, it means I got out on the lake. I was able to fish and uh, hopefully do freaking something up there. Um, if it rains and I don't really get to fish much, obviously recording it for you guys is not going to work very well if it's raining, raining. Um, and obviously if it's raining, raining, I probably won't be out. Um, if at all, and if I do go out and it starts raining, I probably won't be out very long. So if you guys are watching this right now on YouTube, if you are watching this, Stay tuned because it means something probably happened. That's why it's on here, all right? Stay tuned, boys. Let's do it. Seven minutes till boat launch. Seven minutes. You got him? Yep. Yes. Scoop him, scoop him, scoop him, get underneath there! Get him! There you go, right there! boys we had made it to the lake no idea what's going on out there looks like buoys but I don't know why the heck there'd be buoys in the water but we got to the lake right now it's not raining at all so boat is wet for the first time this year technically got wet on the way up because it was drizzling a little bit but you know what I mean it's in the water for the first time Hopefully the plug's in right. I'll find out in about a minute. We're going to hop in this bad boy and uh, let's get to it. Yo, it is freaking cold out. It is freaking cold. Seriously. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Well, boys, we are on... That is the first first bass of the season. And has the first bass on my new new fate. Oh man, she is a freaking beaut. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna net her. I don't think I have her hooked very good. Oh, she's in my. F oh, there she is. Oh yeah, hell yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Look at that freaking thing. <laughs> what is up, big boy? Oh, look at that fish. Look at that freaking fish. Oh, <laughs> baby. Yes. So guys, I know this is not a digital scale, however, this thing is pretty close. It's going to be pretty accurate, okay? This fish, I don't know if you can see that, but that's clocking in at just a hair below five, pan five pounds. So, <laughs> you want to talk about the fish to start the year, that's the one right there, boys. Five pounder. Man, that thing's a freaking brute. Wow. 
That is a ni 19 inches. Yes, baby. All right, guys. So now that I calmed down a little bit, obviously you just saw what happened. Now that I kind of calmed down and composed myself a little bit here, um, so this is it's just crazy, and that's why that's why fishing is is called fishing, and that's why I love this freaking sport. I call I call it a sport, I, and that's why I love it. You know, this I came up here today not knowing what to expect. Um, kind of expected that it was going to be pretty good. Not, you know, I don't normally fish bass hardcore this, you know, this early in the season, but, you know, out here for about probably an hour, I don't even know what time it is, I haven't really checked my phone yet, um, out here about an hour, no hits, saw probably two muskies floating around, you know, so, you know, naturally your, your confidence starts to kind of come down a little bit, um, switched from a Senko to, this is my new rod, and um, I went to a Texas rig um, with a beaver style bait, which let me show you here. This guy right here, it's a big bite, big bite bait, uh, beaver. And um, I switched to that there. Uh, as you can see, you guys saw the, the fish I hooked into. Um, and a five pound bass, literally 19 inch bass, five pounds. You know, and that, that's, that's how quickly your day can change. Um, so I'm going to kind of focus in. Um, from what from what I've kind of seen, it seems like they're in a little bit deeper water. I was expecting them to be a little bit up shallower, but the water temp's only 47 degrees. So he was laying in about seven and a half feet. Um, I started picking up some fish around nine. So I'm going to kind of focus in on this area. Stick with this bait. Clearly, he wanted it. He freaking he chomped it. Um, so just kind of stick with that for now. See what happens, and uh, let's do it, boys. If you guys are not already, go on to go on to Facebook and join our fish uh, Ripping Lips PA Fishing Report. Um, I will post after today. You know, obviously you guys are watching the video, but I will post um, water temp. Um, Air temp, you know, all that stuff on there when, when I'm when I'm done. So if you're watching this, go check out that page and go go join our group. And uh, yeah, boys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned because there's probably going to be more. So boys, that is a wrap on today. It is 10 o'clock, a little earlier than what I normally get off the lo the water, but uh, pretty freaking cold. Um, it's only 42 degrees according to that right there. Um, so, still chilly, wind's picking up a little bit. Uh, kind of had my plan on getting up here early, getting a couple hours in and get off early too, just because I knew the wind was going to pick up. So, um, really tough day. Um, I, I was expecting it to be actually a little bit better. Um, but, you know, I got one really, really good bass. Um, that's that was wasn't my PB, but it was pretty freaking close. Uh, my PB, I think, was right right at five. Might have been a hair over five. Uh, this one was just a freaking hair below five pounds. Like I said, it wasn't a digital scale, but it, it was it was right at five, like right at five. So, uh, super nice fish. Uh, that was basically the only action I had. You know, I think I might have had one other hit first thing in the morning. Was not much at all, though. Um, so I'm just glad I caught it on my new rod. Um, Going to do a review on that fate rod soon. Uh, I just need to get more... F I just need to catch more fish on it. Um, that was a really good fish to catch on it. Um, today was a good test, but our review is coming, trust me. Uh, but anyway, that's a wrap for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I know there wasn't a ton of action with this one, but um, still, still a good, still a good day to get out. Um, it's freezing, it feels good to be in here in the warm truck. But uh, like I said earlier in the video, if you're not already a part of our Facebook group, go and go and send us a request to join. We'll we'll, we'll get you in right away. Um, Ripping Lips PA Fish Report. Uh, feel free to post pictures, share whatever. Um, I'm gonna post, you know the. Uh, specs today um, as far as water temp, air temp, um, that kind of stuff. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post that today. 
Um, and if you're watching this, um, hit the thumbs up button, and uh, you already know you should you should be subscribed already. So um, if not, then you better do that too. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time. Keep on fishing, boys. I'm actually just kidding. I thought of one more thing that I wanted to say on this here. Hopefully somebody will know. So today, I said this in the morning, first thing in the video, they had like these float, um, what the hell are they called? Buoys, buoys, there you go. Out in the water here, I think they were like nets. Um, I saw the, the two gentlemen over there pulled them out. Um, I was from a distance, I don't know what they're, I don't know what that's for, if anybody knows, why they're doing that up here at Leaser Lake. Um, drop a comment below and let me know because I'm curious on what it is. I'm sure it's something with, you know, maybe surveying or something with the fish. I don't know. Um, but if anybody has any idea, drop the comment below and, and let me know. All right. I'm out for real this time. Oh.